It began with a question. What if we could build something that thinks? Not just calculate or compute, but truly think. In hidden labs and smoke-filled university halls, the dream was born. A dream to give metal a mind and code a conscience. Machines were once slaves of logic, simple tools obeying instructions. But what if they could learn? Understand us? Feel curiosity? For centuries, intelligence was ours alone. But in the 20th century, we challenged the universe to share it. This is the story of that challenge. A faith, failure, and fierce ambition. This is the history of AI. The birth of a revolution. The year was 1955. A select group of researchers, John McCarthy, Marvin Minsky, Claude Shannon, and others, met at Dartmouth College to invent something new. They called it artificial intelligence. Their optimism was overwhelming. They believed that by the end of a single summer, computers would begin to think. We think that a significant advance can be made if a carefully selected group of scientists work on it together for a summer. Their confidence wasn't arrogance, it was the spirit of the times. Computers had just cracked wartime codes, sent rockets to space, solved math problems no human could. Why couldn't they think? Intelligence in a bottle. This early approach became known as top-down AI, trying to write intelligence directly into a machine. If humans could understand a problem and write instructions, then why not make a machine that could follow every possible instruction for every possible scenario? They believed if you poured enough logic into a computer, it would wake up. This was the idea of intelligence in a bottle, a mind, crafted by hand, ready to speak, solve, and feel. The Hype Years Early progress seemed to prove them right. Machines played chess and checkers, solved algebraic theorems, recognized simple shapes, moved blocks with robotic arms. AI pioneer Herbert Simon declared in 1965, machines will be capable, within 20 years, of doing any work a man can do. And then came HAL 9000. In Stanley Kubrick's 2001, A Space Odyssey, the talking AI who could pilot a spaceship and hold a conversation captured the public imagination. The dream felt close, too close, the brick wall. Then came the crash. Despite all the optimism, AI hit two insurmountable walls, pattern recognition and common sense. Robots could see better than humans, with advanced sensors and cameras, but they couldn't understand what they were seeing. To a machine, a table isn't a table. It's just a collection of lines, shadows, and textures. They don't understand tableness. Worse still, they had no common sense. A child knows water is wet. That strings can pull but not push. That moms are older than their daughters. A robot? It doesn't know anything unless you tell it, line by line, in code. And there's the problem. No matter how much logic you feed a machine, it can't replicate experience. The DARPA Challenge in 2011, after a massive earthquake and tsunami, Japan's Fukushima nuclear plant suffered a triple meltdown. Radiation levels were lethal. Cleanup crews could only work minutes at a time. Estimates, $180 billion in 40 years to clean it all. In 2013, DARPA, the Pentagon's research division, issued a global challenge. Build a robot that could enter the radioactive zone and clean it up. The DARPA Robotics Challenge offered $3.5 million in prizes. The tasks were simple, at least for humans. Drive a car. Open doors. Remove debris. Turn a valve. Connect a hose. Dozens of teams entered. Cameras rolled. But instead of triumph, came embarrassment. Most robots failed the tasks. Many couldn't even stay standing. AI was ready. The shift from top-down to learning machines. After decades of disappointment, researchers realized something important. You can't write a mind by hand. So they pivoted away from top-down code to bottom-up learning. Let machines learn the way we do from experience, trial, and error. 
This shift birthed neural networks and deep learning. AI models train on massive datasets instead of explicit instructions. AI began to transform. Now it didn't need to be spoon-fed every rule, it learned patterns from data. Modern AI, a new age. Welcome to the age of modern AI, a world where machines don't just compute. They learn, they see, they create. We're no longer talking about chess-playing computers or clunky robots. Today's AI writes music, paints portraits, drives cars, and even chats with you, almost like a human. What changed? It's not smarter code, it's smarter learning. Modern AI is built on neural networks, systems modeled after the human brain. But instead of neurons, they're powered by data, tons of it. AI doesn't memorize. It learns patterns from billions of images, words, voices, and actions. This is called deep learning, and it's why AI suddenly feels alive. Voice assistants understand you. Recommendation engines predict your taste. Generative AI writes entire books and draws stunning art in seconds. From medicine to media, from transportation to education, AI is no longer a science project. It's the engine behind a new kind of society, faster, smarter, and more connected than ever. But with great power comes serious questions. Who's in control? Can we trust what AI creates? And what happens when machines start outperforming us in almost everything? The future of AI is breathtaking, but it's also uncertain. This is not just a new age of machines, it's a new age for humanity. The question is, are we ready? If you want to know where AI is headed next, from Mars missions to digital minds, subscribe to Digital Butterfly, because the future is already thinking. What comes next? So where do we go from here? The next frontier is more than just better predictions or flashier tech. It's artificial general intelligence, a machine that can learn anything a human can. It's robotics that can build colonies on Mars, or cities beneath the sea. It's AI that doesn't just mimic intelligence, but earns it. And we're not there. Yet. Looking to the future. We've spent over half a century chasing a dream. From the halls of Dartmouth, to DARPA's challenges, to the servers behind today's smartest machines. AI has stumbled, evolved, and risen again. And this journey is far from over.